everyone, welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Celeste, I'm so happy to be with you today. So let's go ahead and get started with our opening song. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give them both a clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them, right up to your chinny chin chin. Circle around your little mouth, but do not let them in. Our first book is A Big Moon Cake for Little Star by Grace Lynn. And I would like to thank Little Brown and Company for allowing us to read this. Little Star's mama laid the big moon cake onto the night sky to cool. Now, Little Star, mama said, your moon cake took us a long time to bake. So let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch this big moon cake until I tell you to? Yes, mama, said Little Star, nodding. And Little Star remembered as she brushed her teeth washed her face, snuggled into bed, and fell asleep. But in the middle of the night, Little Star woke up. What do you think she's gonna do? She forgot everything her mama said and only remembered the big moon cake. Pat. Little Star's soft feet tiptoed to the big moon cake. What do you think she'll do? Would her mama notice if she just took a tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Mmm, yum, she said. But was someone coming? Little Star flew back to bed. Do you see her star pajamas? Wouldn't it be cool to have pajamas with stars on them? The next night, Little Star remembered the big moon cake again. That one bite had been so sweet and tasty. Was the cake still there? You think she's gonna go back and take more bites? Yes, it was. There was that big moon cake, an almost perfect circle, all alone and delicious in the sky. Would her mama notice if she took a tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. You think her mom will notice? Yum. Little Star flew back to bed. And the next night, what do you think Little Star remembered? The big moon cake, of course. Would Mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum, she said. What do you think is gonna happen to the big moon cake? Ah, and the night after that, what did she do? Nibble? Nibble, yum. Night after night, Little Star took tiny nibble after tiny nibble of the big moon cake. What's happening to the moon cake? Until one night, Little Star's mama went to look for the big moon cake. Where was it? It was gone. Instead of a glowing round cake, there was just a trail of twinkling crumbs. Little star, her mama said, shaking her head, even though her mouth was curving. You ate the big moon cake again, didn't you? Little star looked up again, her grin reflecting her mama's smile.
Yes, Mama, Little Star said nodding. Now let's go make another one. I have a fun song for us to do and at the very end of the song we're going to count down and when we count all the way down you can jump up in the air okay so we're going to start off going like this can you do that along with me zoom 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 we're going to the moon zoom 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 we're going to the moon if you want to take a trip climb aboard my rocket ship Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job. Our next book is Touch the Brightest Star by Christy Matheson. And I want to thank Green Willow Books for allowing us to read this one. Magic happens every night. First wave goodbye to the sun's bright light. Wave goodbye. Gently press the firefly. Really gently so we don't hurt it. Oh, press again to light up the sky. Now blow a quiet breeze. Pat the deer and say, good night, please. Good night. Tap the sky beside the tree. I wonder what will happen when we do that. <gasps> Look at that, a star. Make a wish, make a wish, and count to three. One, two, three. Swipe the sky from left to right. Wow, look at that. Now blink your eyes. What a starry night. Do you see all the stars in the sky? Touch the brightest star you see. Psst, it's the one right near the tree. Do you see the brightest star? Let's tap it. Trace the picture of the dipper. Do you see the dipper? Let's trace it. That's a kind of spoon. Look, there's a little one. You see the little one? Time to whisper. And you whisper, come out, moon. Watch the sky and call, whoo, whoo. Turn the page and see who's new. Aw, look at the owls. Rub the owls on their head. It's their turn to fly to bed. When do owls sleep? Do they sleep at night or during the day? Yeah, they sleep during the day. They're called nocturnal. Close your eyes and breathe in deeply. Hmm. Nod your head if you feel sleepy. when you open your eyes again. The magic of the day begins. The end. I have a quick literacy tip for caregivers that I would like to share, and it's all about the importance of talking, especially when you're sharing books with children. This is one of the best ways to develop your child's vocabulary. In books, they see things they might not otherwise see, like different kinds of animals. So take advantage of expanding their vocabulary by talking with them about the 
the picture books that you read and about things you see in your everyday life. Let's do the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And do you know who came along? The great big hairy spider. The great big hairy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big hairy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Thanks for singing along. Before we go, I thought I would share a really fun activity that you can do at home. And that's to make your very own planet sun catcher. All you need to create it is a coffee filter, some markers, a spray bottle, and then you may want to have a plate or something else that you can set your coffee, you can put the coffee filter on. So to do this activity, all you do is lay your coffee filter out flat, then take your markers and color the entire thing, whatever you want your planet to look like. And then take your spray bottle and spray the whole thing down. You don't have to make it soaking wet, but just so that it's entirely wet. And then let it dry. And when it's all done, you'll have a nice sun catcher that you can hang on the window and it lets the light in. So I hope you'll do that at home. Well, thank you so much for joining me in story time today. I'll see you next time. Bye.